Hey, what's up? It's Antonio. Welcome back to my channel. Now, who's ready for some fighting words? In this video, I want to talk about Travante Tank Davis, and I want to talk about Frank Martin and the presser. Really quick, if you like the videos, please take the time to subscribe to the channel. It just takes one click, and if you could, also hit that thumbs up button. It does help. It shows love, and it supports this channel. Let's talk about this presser. Um, so, I am totally convinced that Gervonta Tank Davis has bought a penthouse suite up in Frank Martin's head. I am fully convinced of it. Here, let me start with this, I suppose. I am 100% sure Frank Martin is the most skilled guy that Tank has ever been in the ring with. Without them actually being in the ring yet. I'm sure of that. But... He is showing zero confidence. Like he's, ex I remember once, I, I, I don't know where I was, but I remember someone told me, you are just oozing confidence. Frank Martin is not oozing anything. Tank is oozing, like he is just, it's, it's like he's a bucket of confidence that just spilled all over the floor. And then you look at Frank Martin and he's just like, he keeps, and it's funny because he keeps saying what I'm thinking, which is, I'm just happy to be here. But he's like, everybody thinks I'm just happy to be here and I'm just here to get a check. And I'm like, no, you're giving off. I'm just happy to be here. Like you're, you're, you're subconsciously just kind of giving that off. It's not that I want to believe that you're just happy to be here. I don't think you just want to be there, but everything that you say, everything that you do just comes off like you just want to be there. You just want to check. Um, it, listen, it, you know I'm big on body language. Everybody knows I'm big on the psychology of things. Everybody knows I'm going to dissect this as deep as I, you know, as deep as I can possibly go. I'm going to go there. So, it's not the first time that Javonta Tank Davis has just walked up on Frank Martin. And if you notice, in a clip, Frank kind of turns away and, like, looks, and then, like, it's like he doesn't want the face-to-face -face action. He doesn't want Tank in his space. And I'm like, dude, you know he's going to try to punch you in the face in a few days, right? You you need to accept what he's bringing to you. You you need to settle it in your, in your mind and in your heart. I'm going to fight this guy. He doesn't like me. And I shouldn't like him either because he's going to try to punch me in the face. But... Frank Martin doesn't want to give him any eye contact, which is a sign for me. Frank Martin doesn't want to, like, chest up, like, chest to chest and really look him in the eye. He's always to the side. While Tank is here, he's looking this way, and he'll just turn his head. But he that that's a sign of not fully committing. If, if Tank's here, I'm going to use little mini Manny Pacquiao. If Manny, well, if Tank is here and he's facing me with his whole body, and I give him my side face and give him my side body and then turn my face but not fully commit the rest of my body and all of my energy and all of my attention to him, that's telling me something. That's telling me, thank you, Manny. That's telling me something. That's telling me that you're not that comfortable. Now, it could simply be this is the biggest promotion that he's ever been a part of, and that's fair, okay? But it should be. Uh, well, you know what? Technically, I would say that, but, but you know what? I can't really use that excuse because I, I feel that's more of an excuse when you walk into the venue and you see thousands of people more than you've ever seen before, and they're all keep screaming that guy's name versus your name. You know, but... It's, it's just very clear that he's uncomfortable. It's very, very clear. Even his responses, you know, like it's to the point where I don't know if he's just exhausted. He's not the most vocal or verbal guy in the world. So, all right, I, I'm going to give him a point for that, where that's just your personality. You're, you know, you're, you're an introvert. Okay. Um, but Tank talks over him. Tank is, and he might be making some things up, you know, but... Frank allows it in, in, you know, his response is, you're going to see in the ring. Yeah, but you're not in the ring right now. Like, you, you don't want to, you don't want to address that. Like, you know, and it's just the weirdest thing. And then when they sit down and there's a, you know, there's an announcer between the two of them 
suddenly Frank gets all this confidence and then he wants to, you know, he wants to pop his gums. But I'm like, dude, he was just in your face and you said nothing. In fact, you didn't even devote your, your, your physical self to him and turn to the side and, and, and let him have it. You said nothing. You said nothing. Now let's talk about the end of this presser. You know, um, I don't know, Frank. You, <laughs> I don't know. You got to let him hang, bro. You got to let him hang. You know, now anybody who's been in the street, not necessarily even in the street, but just any men in general, every man knows exactly what I'm talking about right now, where you just, you can feel when, a, when another man is not as alpha as you are. And you can feel that he doesn't want what you want, especially not right now. He doesn't want what you want. And Tank, and he flinched. Like, listen, you're a professional fighter. Why did he do the karate chop? <laughs> what was the karate chop? I'm just looking. I'm like, Frank, 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 Frank. Come on. That's my dad's name. Frank, you need to get it together. You can't hold my dad's name and, and do that. You got to get it together. You know, like, you got to get it together. And then the whole team just stood there like, we're going to talk when we get to the back. <laughs> like, like, you know, and Tank just laughed. You know, Coach Calvin with Tank, he laughed. They're all laughing because they're like, what a punk. And, I don't want to say that, but like in that moment, I'm just like, what a punk. Deep down, you know, he's not going to hit you. You know, he's not going to hit you because it's, it's not personal. It, and if it was, it listen, it can't go. It, it couldn't be any more personal than what Roley was saying. And he didn't hit Roley. Like, like, what are you doing? Why, why you know, like, I mean, listen, I, I get it. You know, I, I've had more than enough situations in my life where there were people in front of me, but like we weren't at a press conference. So if I react, that's one thing, but you should know when, when it's real or not, there's money in the line. He's not going to hit you. It's not personal. He's not going to hit you. Like, and he's done this several other times at press conferences. It's kind of what he does. He's not going to hit you. And like I said, it wasn't what you guys have going on is not more personal than what Roly Romero was saying or what Ryan Garcia was saying. He didn't hit them. Like, what makes you think he's going to hit you? And the last thing is, speaking of real estate, Tank's hands and his fingers in particular, they, they kind of find their way in, t in Frank Martin's face. Typically, when, when you want to alpha and alpha is you give it back to them. Like, you know, if, if someone pushes you, you push them back. If they punch you, you punch them back. If they kick you, you kick them back. You know, you mimic whatever was, was done to you. Well, Frank Martin being... Now, I don't know if he's just finding his manners. I, I don't know if he thinks maybe this whole fight would be called off if, if he does something wrong. I don't know what he thinks. Or it's just an itty-bitty ounce of, of fear in the man's heart because when Tank is doing all this to his face and Frank Martin does it to Tank's chest he's like well and then he doesn't do the, the finger he does like the hand like well and I'm like dude why are you aiming at his chest he's aiming in your face and he's just putting his hands all in your face like be a man <laughs> like you're fighting be a man be a man. Listen, in the words of Deontay Wilder, go out on your shield. And even in the press conference, go out on your shield. But don't go out like this. Come on, don't go out like this. Remember, I don't know if all the tickets are sold, but we're still trying to sell this fight. Got to give us something. I said it in the beginning of the, 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 the uh, video. I'll say it again. I think Frank Martin is the most skilled guy that Javante Tank Davis has been in the ring with. And I fully understand what Tank was telling Frank Martin. You should have waited another year. You should have waited some more. You should have waited another year or two before accepting this fight. And it's for little things like that. I just don't think Frank Martin is either... Either he doesn't fully believe in himself because sometimes you can get caught up in the hype. And we see this with Canelo Alvarez all the time. People get caught up with the hype, and it's just like, I'm really fighting Canelo Alvarez. You know, like, he's right there. You know, like, and they get caught up in the hype. 
Jamel Charlo didn't say anything disrespectful during the whole press conference. And that's what he does. That's who he is. He's angry. <laughs> like, and he wasn't angry. Now, I get it. The amount of zeros that were attached to his check, it's kind of hard to be angry. But at the same time, he was angry. And it was like, oh, okay. This is interesting. And I'm feeling the same type of vibes with Frank Martin. You got to snap out of it, bro. Yeah, you're fighting Javante Tank Davis. Yeah, he's like, I don't think he's the face of boxing, but he's definitely a moneymaker in the sport of boxing. But you got to snap out of it. You only got a few days left. You got, what, two, three days left? You got a few days left. You got to snap out of it. And you have to come to terms with the fact that you're going to get punched in the face. And you're going to get punched in the face by that guy. But what, what I'm seeing, it doesn't look too good for you. Because you can have all the skill in the world, but if you don't believe... Tiafimo Lopez is a perfect example of this. You can have all the skill in the world, but if you don't believe in that skill, it will not be readily available to you on the night of. Tiafimo Lopez has a ton of skill, but his skill level is attached to his emotions. And if he doesn't feel like a champion or like a winner tonight... He's not going to perform like a champion, like a winner tonight. There's, I don't know how many people are familiar with um, comic books and everything like that, but there's um, a Marvel character. His name is Gladiator um, with the X-Men, Phoenix Saga and all that stuff. And he's a really strong, powerful guy. His power is he's really strong. He'll beat you as long as he can believe or he believes he's going to win. The minute he his self-belief wavers, he gets weaker. And that's Tiafimo Lopez. And I'm feeling the same vibes when I look at Frank Martin. Bro, snap out of it. You're fighting that guy. Understand that you're going to be in there with a heavy-handed guy. Understand that you're going to be in there with a fast guy, a really explosive guy.